Good morning. Hoping you can see me. I'm going to make, um, it's not going to be a lot of it, but I'm going to make, um, my husband likes whenever I make, um, I guess you would call it weenie beanies. Um, I just got, um, my store had hot dogs on sale and they're just a cheap hot dog. Um, let's go through the ingredients. Um, they're just homemade barbecue beans with uh, with hot dogs and barbecue sauce in them. Um, I got salt and pepper. I'm normally making a small pan that I've sprayed over here because I'm not eating any. He'll be the only one to eat them. I got two cans of just baked beans, pork and beans. I got a little brown sugar, hickory barbecue sauce, the hot dog. I got one small onion that I've just rough chopped. And I got garlic and onion powder, not salt, garlic and onion powder. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, you know, I'll have all the measurements below. Let me get a spoon. Okay. I'll put all this stuff up shortly. That was our brown sugar going into our two cans of um, pork and beans. Just It can be store-bought regular or not. Here's our small onion. Okay. I'll do... to balance off the sweet and salty. Okay. Okay. I'm going to use three hot dogs. This is really not a lot. And you just want to dice them small. And I will just show you how to put it together and tell you how to bake it. I mean, I won't come back and show you because it's not a not a big deal. It's just a recipe I've always made. I usually make giant pans of it when we have company coming. But we don't have anyone coming. It's just him. Let me put four hot dogs in it. you like that. You want to cook it till it's just bubbling on top and then um, whenever it's... You want to incorporate it really good, and then whenever it's bubbling on top and has cooked all the way through, the onions are, are translucent and done, just pull it out and set it on top of the stove and let it let it cool. So that was four of you, just your generic hot dogs. Okay. This is just, any barbecue sauce will do. He likes the hickory smoked barbecue, so that's the one I'm using. Okay. Now we'll stir this and incorporate everything good, and then I will get a spoon and taste it to make sure it tastes good. The seasonings. And I've lightly sprayed my little baking dish over here. No need to heavily spray it. You want to lightly spray it to help you clean it though. Okay. Everybody should be incorporated good. Let's see. It's mainly the sauce I want to taste. That's good. Hold on one second. No, one thing I want to add if I got some. Not sure if I have any though. I think I ran out. Huh. I wanted to add some hickory, hickory smoke, some liquid smoke, but I think I think I ran out. Well, I'm out. But that would have been good if you had a little liquid smoke. Add maybe just a couple of drops because it is really strong. Okay, and then we'll get, get our pan. No need to cover this up. 
but I would set it on a baking dish just in case it bubbles over. I see it's pretty full. That's my oven. My oven is preheated to 375. I want to get that over there. Tin foil just in case it bubbles over and won't have a big old mess. You know what I mean? And there you have it, 375 till this is just bubbled up and good and, and just and then let it sit for a few minutes. Um you really basically want the onions to cook. So when the onions, you can see the onions, whenever they get translucent and all, and that brown sugar will thicken up, then you'll know it's done. I usually cook mine mm, 45 minutes to an hour, like this, and then it usually comes out pretty good. I will have the whole recipe below. Thank you. Bye.